so you have black spots in your eyes you have cobwebs moving around in your eyes sometimes you may see flashes or even a curtain in the eye what are these well these are what we call as eye floaters something that floats in the eye hello everyone i'm dr harshit vaidya a vitro retina surgeon at dr vaidya eye hospital in andheri mumbai and today we'll be talking about floaters so to understand about floaters we basically need to understand about the eye first our eye structure is such that the first portion that we see the black portion of the eye is called as the cornea just behind the cornea is what we call as the lens and the vitreous humor is what covers the entire eye in the back portion of the eye this vitreous humor is basically a jelly like substance which has about 99% water due to several reasons this jelly can liquefy or degrade when these degrade they form clumps in the eye when the light passes through the cornea and the lens and it passes through the vitreous humor and the retina these clumps block the light and the block which causes a shadow behind on the retina is what we see as floaters these floaters move around in the eye and cause a visual disturbance these floaters can happen due to various reasons the most common being age just like how our hair becomes white with age as we know that even the lens becomes opacified that we call as cataract these are age related processes in the same way we have a vitreous humor which liquefies or degrades this is known as floaters most of these instances this is actually an innocuous or rather inconsequential problem wherein patients do not feel or do not have any major issues but sometimes when patients have associated symptoms like flashes of light or a curtain these can be dangerous most in case you have multiple floaters let's say initially you were seeing one floater and all of a sudden somebody sees 50 or 100 black spots in the eyes this is an alarming situation in which you need to consult a doctor immediately this could be an early sign of something called as a retinal detachment or else if you are a diabetic patient these floaters can be often seen in patients who are diabetic in cases of diabetic retinopathy in later stages wherein the jelly can have bleeding inside the eye and it can cause something called as a vitreous hemorrhage this hemorrhage can be seen in a similar way as we see as cobwebs or black floaters these need urgent attention and they need to be addressed by a retina specialist third condition could be inflammation or there are something called as the infection of the eye these can cause a severe disturbance in the eye and cause floaters all around so basically we have four different reasons that is number one is an age related process number two can be retinal detachment three in diabetic patients fourth in inflammatory condition So what is the treatment for these degenerations or which is called as floaters in most of these patients or 90% of the patients we don't need to do anything there is something called as wait and watch or observation your doctor suggests you to regularly keep seeing the doctor so that there is no deterioration that happens but in some cases where you see a curtain or there is flash of light there could be a tear inside the retina which would need to be addressed immediately So if these floaters are associated with tears in the retina in the initial stages you can laser the retina and prevent a further deterioration called as retinal detachment in the worst case in which these are unaddressed they can cause a retinal detachment and they need a major surgery called as vitrectomy with time nowadays even the smallest of floaters can be addressed by a treatment called as floaterectomy this is done when patients have immense discomfort with these floaters Another option is something called as laser vitreolysis. Basically, we pass a laser light through the vitreous humor to address these opacifications and dissolve these major clumps. In total, we have three treatment protocols. Number one, we wait and watch in majority of cases. Number two, we have laser vitreolysis, and number three, vitrectomy. Thank you.